everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Claire and this is Yoli. I make videos all about house plant care, sharing tips and tricks I've learned over the years to help keep your plants happy and healthy. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different ways that you can make really, really easy hangers for your plants to display them nicely. I'm not a macrame artist or anything like that, and I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but this is just how I personally like to do it, and it's really, really simple. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So oh, the first way that I like to use a lot is literally ridiculously simple. All you need for it is some macrame cord or any cord of your choice, a pair of scissors, and I'm using a glue gun, but any, any strong glue will do. And this one, as opposed to the other one, actually kind of attaches to the pot. And it's probably pretty obvious. As soon as I get going, you'll be like, ah, that's so easy. But I will, I will show you anyway. So I'm gonna be using this pot that I made a while ago. I did make a DIY pots video a while back, which I will link in the description box below because pretty much all of my plants and hangers are also in little DIY pots. So they've also got really good drainage. But what I'll do is I'll basically just measure a piece of my macrame cord. Oh, lost it, there we go. Measure a piece of my macrame cord to the length that I want it to hang. So for example, if I want it to hang about there, then I'll just add an extra couple of inches because when you've got your knot in, it always takes a little bit of the length off and it's always better to go a little bit too long, I think. And then if you want to, if you want to make it shorter, then you can, it's easier to do that than to make it longer. So yeah, I'll get it about there. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll just chop that. And then using the bit that I've just cut, I'll just measure the exact same length again. And then I'll chop it again. So yeah, now I've got two pieces exactly the same. And how I've done it on this pot, so I, I personally don't mind there being a little knot at the top. I actually quite like the look of it, but if you wanted your knot to be at the bottom, then you would essentially reverse this, if that makes sense. I think it'll become clear as I start doing it, but you basically just do exactly what I've done here, but the other way around if you want the knot at the bottom. But I'm going to do the knot at the top because I think it looks kind of like a little pom-pom and I really like it. So I'm just going to fold those two bits of string in half and then I've got my, my middle point and I'm just going to lie it on the table, just kind of holding that middle point and just cross the string. And again, you could knot this if you don't want to use glue, but again, I just, I, I love my glue gun. I use my glue gun for absolutely everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just glue that little cross there and just wait for that to dry so it's kind of really securely in place. And then when that's dried, I'm just gonna put a blob of glue on the bottom of my pot in the middle. If you do have a drainage hole right in the middle and you can't do that, then what I do is I just go around the outside and stick the string to it that way. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then yeah, just stick it down. And then again, just for extra security, what I like to do is I just like to kind of stick these bits down here as well, just to make sure that if for any reason over time, this bit was to fail and the glue wasn't to hold, then at least it's really, really secure. And then once that's all dry, I just like to do the same again going up to the top. So again, it's just really, really securely held in place and you won't risk it failing. I'm really sorry about the very loud drilling. It seems to happen literally every single time I sit down to film. It'll be really quiet and I'll be like, ah, oh, I'll open the windows. And then it starts up and I'm like, I should have, I should have left the windows closed. So yeah, it's literally as simple as that. But as I say, if you do want your knot at the bottom and not the top, then you literally just do it the other way around and tie your string at the bottom instead of at the top. You know what I mean? <laughs> So now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and just make sure that it's kind of like even because obviously that is not just kind of get all of the strings to a point where you feel like it's pretty even and you're happy with it. And then once you are, you can go ahead and tie your knot. And I like to do this fairly loosely because sometimes when you tie the knot, it will kind of pull certain strings 
a little bit more and then it will be uneven again if that makes sense so I'll usually just do it quite loosely to start with like there we go, you can see it's a bit like woohoo. So then I can just pull the ones that need pulling a little bit more and just kind of adjust it before I properly, properly tighten it up. So yeah, I would say I'm pretty happy with that. So then you can go ahead and pull your knot really, really tightly. And then I always just like give the top ones a little pull as well so that they're kind of all even. And then you can go ahead and cut your string. You can cut it kind of down to the knot. And actually, if you wanted it to be really secure, I guess you could always put a little bit of glue on the top as well to seal it. I personally, as I say, I really like the little kind of fringy bit at the top. So I'm not going to cut it too short. And then to hang it, I, I've got them in a couple of different sizes, actually. But I just use these little S hooks, which, again, I get off Amazon. They're really cheap. I'll link them down below. But then you can just pop whatever plant you like in there and just hang it up like that and I think it looks really nice it's a very very simplified way of doing it but then the next way is more of like a macrame style I say that because it's just like knotting and I've no idea if it's like the right way to do it but again it looks really nice but I personally really like having a combination of ones of this style and the ones with more of kind of like a macrame feel to them just because I think it mixes it up it adds a nice texture and that's what I like but yeah, so that one is done. I will pop that one to the side. I feel like that was pretty straightforward, but if anyone's got any questions, then as always, drop me a comment down below and I will, I will try and help. But then yeah, the next one is this style one. And as you can see, it's kind of more, more knotty and it looks really lovely. So again, with your macrame cord, you're gonna wanna get it a lot longer than you actually would need. And what I'll do, I think I'm gonna use this pop to demonstrate. So I am gonna just think about what kind of length I want it and then add probably like an extra three or four inches onto it. Again, it's always better to have it too long than too short. So if I think maybe, I mean, I know that looks ridiculously long, but I think that's probably good to be on the safe side. And then when I'm happy with the length, I'm gonna just chop that again and I'm gonna cut four pieces at the exact same length so they will be quite long and in the same way that I did with the last one I I tend to do like a knot at the top and the bottom for this because I like the look of it but if you wanted to have a loop at the top and just a knot at the bottom then again you could kind of reverse it if that makes sense I know I'm saying does that make sense but I think as I start to do it I'll find it easier to talk through I'm I'm not very good at just chatting through things when there's not a visual accompaniment, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna get four bits of this. If they're not bang on the same length, it doesn't matter, because again, you can just trim them when you are done. So yeah, as I say, if you, if you did want to do a loop at the top, then you could just go ahead and tie that as is, and that would be your top, and you would, like, that would be your top, and you would work down as opposed to working up, as I'm gonna do. But because I want the fringy bits, I am just gonna chop in the middle here, so it will turn it into eight pieces of string. And then I'm gonna tie a knot at the bottom, and this will be the bottom of the pot in my case, but as I say, you can do it either way. But yeah, I'm just gonna tie my knot. And again, just make sure that it's pulled really, really tightly. Cool, so I'm gonna try and explain this as well as I possibly can and hopefully you'll be able to tell on that camera. So I'm essentially just gonna like spread all of the string out. So the knots at the bottom and then you're just gonna kind of make a pair with each of the bits of string. So for example, this bit here, I'm gonna I'm not gonna tie my knot too tight again because you might wanna kind of adjust them a little bit, but I'm gonna tie a knot in these two bits of string here. I think about there should work. So I'm gonna just do it very loosely and then I'm just gonna move round and I'm gonna do the exact same with the next two bits and I just use that bit to compare to kind of make sure it's roughly in the right place but again so long as you don't do it too tight then you can adjust it if you need to. And then when I'm happy with that I'm gonna just put that one to one side and I'm gonna do the same with the next two pieces. and then the final two. Okay. 
and then before you tighten them you just hold it up so like that you can kind of see if any aren't quite even and you can just kind of bring them to where they need to be and then when you're happy with them then you can go ahead and tighten them up so yeah you want them all hanging at about the same level it doesn't matter if it's not exact but try and get it as exact as you can so yeah that is what it's looking like and then it's pretty much the case of doing the exact same thing again so if you just spread them out in the order that you did them before you can kind of see the middle and just space them out and then so again with the first two you just want to take the inner two bits so these two bits here and just make a knot slightly further up again i'm going to try and go about the same distance it doesn't have to be bang on but about the same distance as i did from that and again just keep the knot really nice and loose And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with these two bits. And again, I'm going to use that one there as kind of like a little visual guide. And like we did the first time round, I personally will just kind of move that one on so I can <laughs> focus on the next one so it doesn't get too confusing. But then again, in a bit, in a bit. And that one's our guide. And then when you get to this bit, you'll just do the exact same thing, but you'll see it all kind of start to join up. And this is where, I mean, that's the bit your pot's gonna sit in, as you can kind of see, but this is where it can just get a little bit like crazy on the brain because your brain just is like, ah, where is everything? But <laughs> stick with it, it's fine, it works, I promise. So yeah, there we go. And again, once you've done that, you can just hold it up and you can see, just to kind of check, make sure that the knots are kind of roughly in the same place. It doesn't have to be exact, but if it's really, really off, then your pot will probably sit a bit wonkily, wonkily, and, <laughs> and it won't look as good, so yeah. And actually, it's crazy how much string the knots take up because you saw how long my string was to start with. And actually, looking at this now, I could have done with making this a little bit longer than I did. But you can either just knot your, knot your string straight away and then put your pot in, or if you want to just check and make sure that it's gonna, it's gonna work with the size pot that you're using, you can just put your pot in and just see, just see. So yeah, there we go. That's what it looks like when the pot's in. And as I say, this is actually gonna be quite a short hanger. I thought it would be longer, but that's me misjudging it. Make the string longer if you're in any doubt. But I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie my knot at the top once I'm happy with the positioning of it all. Again, if you need to just kind of adjust some knots to make it a little bit more even, then you can do that. And again, like with the last one, if there's any bits that just needs to be pulled out a little bit more, if you leave your knots fairly loose, then you can just make sure that it's nice and even and will look lovely. Just check with your pot. I actually think, as I say, I think I should have made this a little bit longer for this size pot. I always find it really tricky to find the entrance to get it in. Um, but if you look at the bottom and just kind of try and squeeze it through one of the gaps, And there you go. If you wanna trim your fringe at the bottom or the top, you can. I've seen people do really nice double hangers as well, where they're essentially knot it and then they'll carry on up and make another one to go above it. So I might try that at some point, but I really hope that that was clear. If it, if it wasn't, then let me know and I will try and explain it better. But yeah, that's, that's how I personally like to do it. It's so straightforward, so easy, and it looks really lovely. I love my hanging plants and it's so much cheaper than buying hangers and it takes literally no time at all. So yeah, I really hope that this was useful. If this video was useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video.